What do you think was working so well for you guys in the run game on Sunday? Uh, I think probably the most thing was physicality, you know, just being able to get movement off the ball and letting the running backs make the cuts. How easy or difficult was it for you to step in seamlessly and, and just kind of join that group that was already kind of playing pretty well? Um, you know, just kind of just step in and, you know, do what Coach Juan tells us to do and, you know, take, just go at it with 100% effort and, you know, let the chips fall where they may. So just kind of stepped in and did my job. Got hurt, yeah, yeah. I'm not sure. They just said, you know, he was out for right now and that I had to go in, so I went in. <laughs> Is it music to your ears or to an offensive lineman's ears when a lot of the game plan calls for running the football? <laughs> um, yeah, definitely, you know. But let us know we could use our weight, lean on him a little bit. Um, but, you know, it's, it's give and take. You know, we're going to have to protect too, so. You know, that's, that stuff kind of plays off each other. So it, it's definitely good to hear, you know, a lot of runs in the plan. But, you know, you got to be ready to protect as well, too. Well, what have you thought about somebody like Khalil Herbert, who steps in as a, you know, late-round rookie and did what he did? Um, you know, I thought he was good. I thought he played fast and decisive. Um, I thought that uh, he looked good out there, you know, him and Damian. Justin's still rookie quarterback, still trying to find his footing. What's left an impression on you about his growth and just who he is as, as that guy in the huddle? Um, I, I think you said it, you know, just the growth, you know, over him f stepping in at first with the Bengals, I think it was, um, and then up until this point, um, just the confidence, um, him just having the composure, especially in a loud, you know, arena like we were at last week, you know, just him being composed and calm and just getting us ready to go. Uh, I think that's been better, you know, with him just getting opportunities and being in there as a starting quarterback. What kind of strides do you, do you feel as an offensive line that you've made the last couple of weeks, both run blocking and then obviously protecting Justin? Um, you know, I've just been trying to work on my craft and be the best that I can be. I think that I've made some strides. Um, definitely not where I want to be yet, but um, just going to continue to keep working. But, but as, a, as a line as a whole, do you feel like you guys have collectively made improvements since like that Cleveland game? Uh, definitely. You know, I think that was kind of a, a punch in the mouth to all of us, you know, and kind of a wake up call to, you know, get get back at it and get back to work and, you know, hone in on our technique and everything and kind of just come back at it and be physical and attack the next play and just keep going. You know, I think that kind of woke us up a little bit. What have the past couple months been like for you to go from, you know, starting when you started camp with left tackle and then COVID list and then now here you have this, this opportunity, obviously on the right side? Um... It's been <laughs> kind of wild, flip-flopping uh, back and forth. You know, it's not as easy as everybody, you know, makes it seem. Um, so it's definitely been pretty tough. But just just having to be out there and, and be back playing, you know, feels good to be back. What's going on your preparation, you know, knowing that you're going to have to step up and fill that starting role as opposed to weeks before when you weren't? Um, you know, nothing really. You know, I've always prepared as if I am starting, you know, even if I'm not. So I think that that's kind of kept me in the right mind space and ready to go in whenever my number is called. So I don't think anything's changed in that matter. Always prepared to play.